It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Finance Daily. Episode 491, Big Surprise, My Best Financial Tip Is, by Kate Flanders of kateflanders.com. And I'm your host and narrator here on the program. My name is Dan, and uh, I'm here each Monday through Friday reading to you from some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet. And before we get into today's post from Kate, this episode is sponsored by Smart About Money, a free website brought to you by the National Endowment for Financial Education, a nonprofit dedicated to helping Americans take control of their financial lives. To learn more, visit smartaboutmoney.org OFD. That's smartaboutmoney.org OFD. For now, let's get right to today's post and start optimizing your life. Big surprise, my best financial tip is by Kate Flanders of kateflanders.com. If you haven't heard or read about it already, November is Financial Literacy Month in Canada. As a personal finance blogger, this month excites me for two reasons. One, the blogosphere and various news sites fill up with all kinds of new financial information and advice. And two, it gives me an opportunity to share what I already know with all of you. Now, because I'm not a financial advisor or planner, I have no authority to give you any real advice. I can't tell you what percentage of your paycheck should go towards this or that or offer the best ways to save for your retirement or even help you invest in any particular stocks. And I've already shared my best budgeting secrets with you this year. So the best piece of advice I can offer has to come from what I know. Big surprise. My best financial tip is, you guessed it, get out of debt. What kind of debt am I talking about exactly? Well, this is where I have to tell you to trust any gut feelings you have about your own financial situation. You could have $500 on a store credit card, $5,000 on your regular credit card, or $20,000 in student loans. The dollar amount is not what I'm talking about here. But if any of the following three points describe you in some way, I would encourage you to trust your gut and make a plan to change your financial future. You should make a plan to get out of debt if, one, debt is your first expense on payday. For the past 17 months, I have spent many a night before payday calculating where nearly every penny had to go, with debt repayment at the top of the list. It's painful to see how quickly each paycheck vanishes after putting some towards debt, then considering rent, other bills, food, savings, etc. If you're like me, there isn't much left over after the necessary expenses are all accounted for. This is where the debt trap usually starts. You have to put something towards your debt on payday, but then, since you don't have much left over, you can easily rack it up again. It's a vicious cycle, but it's one that I believe is possible to beat. Wouldn't it be nice to have a payday come and have every single one of your hard-earned dollars be truly yours? Can you imagine putting $500 into savings instead of towards debt? Two, debt is holding you back from living the life you want. How many times have you had to tell your friends that you can't afford to go shopping or do something fun or travel somewhere new because you're broke? And how many times have you felt sad or jealous about the fact that your friends just bought their first home when you're still scraping by to pay your rent? I'm not writing this to make you feel worse. I'm making this point because I've been there. Heck, I'm still there. My savings is nowhere near where I'd like it to be, and homeownership is a fairy tale fantasy at this point. However, I am putting anything extra that I can towards my debt so that one day I can do all the things I wanna do. When the day comes that debt is not your first expense on payday, you can finally start accomplishing some of your short and long-term goals. Until then, it's sad but true. Debt will hold you back. Three, debt stress is taking a toll on all areas of your life. Have you ever avoided looking at your credit card statement or seen how close you were to your limit and felt sick with worry about it? Yes, it hurts to think that you've done that to yourself, but what you're feeling there is stress. Because of the first two points I've made here, It's not hard to understand why you might be stressed. But think about all the other ways that stress is affecting you. Have you lost sleep over it? Are you irritable? Are you fighting with your family or partner or friends more often than you'd like? Admitting that you have too much debt, even just to yourself, is not easy. I was in denial for years and it wasn't until I paid off my credit cards that I felt I could tell my family. But making a plan to get out of debt will lift a huge weight off your shoulders. This much I know is true. You are worth getting out of debt for you are worth saving for, you are worth investing in. And I can promise you one thing, you will never, ever, ever regret making a debt repayment plan and sticking to it. You just listened to the post titled, Big Surprise, My Best Financial Tip is by Kate Flanders of kateflanders.com. And you already know that having financial smarts will help you live your best life. Take your financial know-how game up a notch and reach your financial goals with Smart About Money, 
That's a free website from the National Endowment for Financial Education, a nonprofit dedicated to helping Americans take control of their financial lives. Smart About Money's articles and courses are designed to answer your unique money questions and to help you learn at your own pace. Each course is around 45 to 90 minutes and you can always come back later to finish it. They cover building an emergency fund, taking charge of your housing expenses, and planning retirement. Now you might be thinking, nothing's free, so what's the catch? With Smart About Money, there is no catch, no hidden agenda, and no cost ever. Visit our special page at smartaboutmoney.org OFD to get started and find out what they recommend for our listeners. That's smartaboutmoney.org OFD, and we thank them for sponsoring this podcast. And that's it for episode number 491 here on Optimal Finance Daily. Thank you for your support and for listening each and every day. I will be back tomorrow with a post from Kristen Wong, so I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.